Yo, yo, everybody. Welcome back to another JD the Gamer video. Patch notes have dropped. Let's talk about them. So we're here. Release 1.0.192 patch notes. September 30th, so it came out yesterday or the, a couple days ago from when this video is being recorded and dropped. Greetings house leaders, a new update has arrived. Read on to learn more about new features, tuning, and bug fixes for the newest Game of Thrones Legends release. So I did kind of scrounge through this a little bit. Um, didn't see any character drops, so I'm a little disappointed in that, but there are a lot of bug fixes, a lot of new things added, so let's get into it real quick. New feature trials. Play through the battles in this new feature to earn specific resources and rewards. New features to the game so that it doesn't get stagnant. Always good. New raid rewards. Raids end of season rewards is rotated to Cersei starting October 14th. So no more Drogo. Um... So basically what that means is each season is, what, six or seven days long. So we have two more rotations of Drogo to get as many shards as you can. So rank up as much as you can to get those shards, or if you haven't already pulled Drogo, to get Drogo, um, just so that you can have them. But go ahead and do as much as you can in raids because Cersei is coming. Added recommended might values to each battle in the campaign to help players keep track of the difficulty of levels without needing to return to the chapter select screen. That's awesome. There's a lot of times when you're trying to do more levels, the might of how much you should have isn't there. At least now they recognize that that's easy, that's a quality of life thing. Put it right there on the screen so you don't have to back out to look at it. Refreshed level select view with recommended might. Might, new effects, easier difficulty, selector, campaign rewards, and more. Nice, all quality of life stuff. Level node visuals have been adjusted to hint at level difficulty. We'll have to look at that. Um, interesting, it says visual, so maybe if it's too hard, it's like red. We'll see what, that, what that's about. Added ability to tap outside of dialogues to close them. Awesome, get rid of those dialogues, we don't wanna see them. Added grouping of mystery chess rewards on progression map. Okay. Added surfacing of when energy recharge will occur. I like that. We need to be able to know when we need to recharge our energy. When trying to do a legendary assault fight with zero energy remaining, the pop-up message will tell the player how long they need to wait until the next energy is available. That's awesome. So when you're fighting the dragon with your alliance... When you're out of energy, it just says you're out. But at least now it'll tell you how long until it refreshes and gives you another energy so you can play again. I like that. Players will now receive local push notification when Legendary Assault energy is refilled. That's nice. So if your phone is off or whatever, you have notifications on. It'll let you know that, it, that you just gained a new energy to fight the dragon. Added functionality to resume the rewards flows in summoning if the app is closed during the animation. Nice. So if you're summoning and the app closes down, shuts off, you'll resume the rewards. I like that. Added reward dialogue to daily login flow to clarify what the player is actually receiving. Okay, so when you log in, that's nice. Added support for Polish language. That's cool. That's a little quality of life for people that want to be in that language. That's nice. Added a close button to the summon pack info dialog. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> tuning. So like I said, they didn't add. It doesn't look like they added any new characters, but they have tuned some of the characters. So let's see what happened. Sansa and Arya ally Jim sisters reunited buff duration from two turns to three turns. This puff gets it. This buff gets it in line with the duration of other buffing ally gems. Okay, Joffrey and Marjorie, um, the royal couple, healing increased from 2% to 5%, current HP. Since this scales with current HP, the healing can be a little bit stronger. I like that. So, basically, if it healed off of max HP, no matter what you're currently at, it could be a little OP. But since it does only scale, so if, it, if you only have, you know, 1,000 HP left out of 35,000, the heal's not going to be that great. So at least they increased it a little bit. 
Improved timing of Triarchy Marauder Scale Stepstones Raider. Okay. Fixed issue where Davo Seaworth's passive was breaking too many gems. Okay, so a little nerf. Uh, not really a nerf, they're just fixing it. Bron and Tyrion, Oath Swarm. Description inaccurately reads 300% bonus damage. The, the end game value is 25%. Description updated functionality is unchanged. So again, kind of the same thing with the Allison thing, where it's not really a nerf. It sounds like a nerf, but it's not. They're just fixing it. It was reading, it was doing it wrong, or reading it wrong. John and Ghost Ally Gym. Uh, description inaccurately reads 250 bonus damage. The, ga the in game value is 25%. Same thing as the Bron and Tyrion. Daenerys and Grey Worm. Uh, description inaccurately stated it could apply up to two fire to an enemy instead of applying fire to two enemies. Ah, okay. So it applies one fire to two different enemies. Okay. Alicent Hightower, the Green Queen. Skill, Bright Birthright, duration, five turns to four turns. Attack damage went from 21% to 10%. Attack damage per birthright went from 45 to, 70, 45 to 74 to 15 to 44. Heals percentage of max HP went from 4.5 through 19.5 to 5 to 20.5. A little buff there. Birthright granted... All of them, the passes went from five to four. Seems like a little bit of a nerf. We'll have to look into that later. Orel, Orel's leader ability no longer reveals hidden gems. Orel's le new leader ability will prevent enemies from gaining stealth and grant his own allies an accuracy buff anytime an enemy is defeated. So they just kind of changed what he does. Aemon Targaryen, Aemon's leader ability has been adjusted to trigger upon any three enemies defeated rather than enemies of a specific faction. Okay. Gear, adjusted gear drop rates. Okay, so what does that mean? Does that mean it's better? Does that mean it's worse? Because it was already kind of bad. Adjusted gear drop rates. Hopefully that means it's better. We don't know because it's not very, it's very vague. But let, that's a good thing, I think. Bug fixes, alliances, fixes. Fixed, you have been removed, pop up, appearing multiple times when the player has been removed from the alliance. Fixed chat scrolling issue. I hope that. I'm tired of chat being an issue. Come on, man. Y'all got this. Fix it. So these are all just bug fixes. Uh, alliance legendary assault fixes fix fly up text uh, for when legendary assault battle time expires fix legendary assault battle results screens from sometimes showing outdated ranking information that should have should have been shown not have been shown fix issue with drogon skill ability animation fix enemy responses after waking from pacify that's a that's a an ability in the game Fix Legendary Assault boss timer, not properly updated when timer reaches zero while the app is in the background, okay? Event fixes. Dragon Egg Quest. Rage Meter, Caraxes, and Dragon Egg Event now attacks only after the player makes a move. Okay, I like that. So sometimes when his meter fills, we haven't done anything yet, and the dragon just goes. So now it's allowing you to at least make a move once you get that meter filled, then Caraxes will attack. Battle of the Bastards, that's not even around anymore, but for when it comes back, it sounds like. Fix the bug that granted hidden chapter rewards from the Battle of the Bastards event. We're not going to get into that. Updated Battle of the Bastards summon, summon token artwork, okay. High rewards UI when no rewards are given in the event victory screen, okay. Fix completed last level showing play button instead of the replay button. Gameplay fixes added stat count indicators for enemy and player buffs and debuffs. I like that. Fixed shield staying visible with zero damage. Oh, okay. So when you're attacking someone with a shield, you know how it has a little gold number above their HP. Sometimes when you knock it down to zero, it's still there. So they, they're getting rid of that. Fixed keyword tooltip not appearing for faction bonus in the pre-battle screen. Fixed wrong chapter number appearing in pre-battle screen when the user presses the edit team. Fixed issue when double tapping on enemies to select them. 
Dothraki long brain now properly displays the amount of stamina he grants the leader. Enemy characters now rotate less, preventing the, the edge cases with almost sideway character placement. Fixed Poison Master when playing as enemy, applying too much damage. Fixed Pacify being removed when an upgraded gem does damage. Fixed Viserion Champion Special Ability Animation. Improved Skill Ability Timing for Cersei Lannister and Brienne of Tarth. And Fixed Caraxes Hazard Gem Targeting. Hazard Gem. Okay. Gear Fixes. Fix the ask for downgrade costs when swapping champion's gear if it is needed. Fix gear might calculations. Fix gear upgrade auto select feature to properly account for stacks of similar gear. That's nice. Fix gear image for house tully blade. Okay, I didn't know there was an issue with that. King's Row, we're almost done. Updated the King's Row daily goal completion bonus info text to reflect the latest rewards. Okay, I like that. Raid fixes. Fix season roll over edge case with raids. Fix players being able to have dragons in raid teams if they were added to the default team before unlocking raids. Ah, people were utilizing dragons. Interesting. Interesting. Fix factions button on champions info screen that could be pressed multiple times. Last thing. Additional general fixes. Fix gold store appearing while IAP was disabled. Reduced amount of public game data shared with other players. Fix privacy policy in terms of service web page not reflecting the language of the app. Fix text overlapping in the loading screen when the app is set to Portuguese. Fixed errors related to new content being downloaded. Fixed errors while when player account data becomes too large. And fixed tooltip of the summon champion on champion rewards always showing zero shards. The Game of Thrones Legends team. Okay, so it seems like the vast majority of this patch is a lot of tuning and fixing, which is fine. The game still has a lot of bugs. So you want to make your game optimized before you continue before you continue to add things you got to optimize and make sure it's running smoothly with what the game already has. So I'm okay with that. I wish they would have at least threw in like five new characters or something or at least maybe like three and did a new banner for the patch. So like Hey, this is the new patch, 1.0.192. Here's the new banner that comes with the patch for only a limited time of six days with three new characters. That I think that would have been cool, but it is what it is. They did add some things. Um, I think the biggest takeaway, other than all the fixes that come with it, remember, do your raids over these next couple weeks so that you can get as many Drogo shards as you can before in raids drogo is switched out with cersei all right so there you have it the new patch is dropping hope you guys are enjoying this game still like comment subscribe comment down below what do you think about this patch you think it's good you think it's bad let me know until next time man it's your boy jd and i'm out this thing baby peace